Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, I am going to be showing you how you can put together an 808 style bass sound in Ableton Live using Wavetable, and it's going to sound something like this. The great thing about Wavetable in Ableton Live is it has a very simple user interface. So it's a lot easier to learn how to do it because everything's divided into very simple um, visual sections to work with. If you're into music production topics like this, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I have a link in the description to my Gumroad store where we have a ton of free things to check out, including a couple of preset packs for Wavetable itself. All right, so let's get right into it. How do we put together this sound? The first thing you're going to do if you're looking at the default screen for Wavetable when you first load it up is you want to turn on Oscillator 1 and Oscillator 2. What we're going to do with Oscillator 1 is drag it up into sort of more of this square or saw wave uh, type of oscillator. What that's going to do is give us more of a, from a smooth sound, to something with more harmonics on it. So it's going to sound more buzzy, basically. And what we're going to do with Oscillator 2 is go to sub one and do the same thing. Just drag it up to a more jagged um, type of shape. What this is doing is adding harmonics to the sound, which is very typical for a lot of 808 basses. They have a lot of saturation, a lot of harmonics in them. And by starting with the right oscillator sound in the beginning, even though we're gonna put a filter on it, it's gonna give us the right character to work with. We're also gonna turn on the sub oscillator turn the gain up a little bit and make sure it's at zero, not negative one, because we essentially want to give this a nice unison tone uh, to add some more beefiness to the sound. The next thing we're going to do is actually detune these oscillators slightly from each other. If you look at the far right corner, you see detune zero cents. Cents are less than semitones, they're like microscopic changes of pitch. And we're just going to do something kind of microscopic. We're going to take this oscillator one, push it up, three cents, take oscillator two, push it down to negative two, negative three cents, something like that. So they're slightly out of tune from each other. And that's creating kind of a phasey sound. So now the next thing we're going to do is go to the filter. We're just using a basic low pass filter. So if I click one here, drag it down to around 250 hertz, you'll see listed here at the bottom. And we're just going to have a little bit of resonance, not a lot. And then we're going to change the filter type to OSR. When you change the filter type in Wavetable, it allows you to add drive to that filter. And that's what we're going to do here. You want to make sure you turn down the master volume on Wavetable to protect your ears and your speakers. Because once we turn this drive knob up on the filter, it's going to get louder. So by doing this, we've added harmonics back into the sound. The next thing we're going to do is go to the uh, envelope section. So you're, you're given three envelopes in Wavetable. Envelope one is just listed as the amp envelope because that's what's creating uh, the genesis of the sound. So what we want to do is do something specific with the first envelope, and that is make sure we have a zero attack. And that's going to emphasize the hit of the sound of the 808. And then we're actually going to turn the sustain all the way down and kind of create more of a straighter triangle style shape to the decay. What this is going to do is sort of simulate the sound of a lot of 808 bass sounds. They use samples. They use audio sources that eventually decay out. They don't play um, endlessly. They don't play necessarily on a loop. Now, you could create that sound by keeping the sustain um, back up to a pretty high volume level. But for this type of sound, we're going to keep it right there. The next thing we're going to do is go to envelope two. And for this one, we're going to make a very different shape. We're going to turn the attack all the way down again, but we're going to make it look almost like sort of a blade with a very, very, very short decay time. And this is going to come in handy for when we start to use the matrix. So if you click matrix here, this is basically opening up all the possibilities that Wavetable has to offer. What this does is it allows you to attach one aspect of what you've programmed to virtually any other aspect that you see on the interface. For instance, 
You can see they're giving you amp, pitch, oscillator one position, oscillator one warp, and filter one drive. Now, it's showing filter one drive because this is the last thing I clicked before I went to this side of the screen. If I was to click, for instance, detune or semitone, it would show oscillator two pitch. See that? So we went from drive to oscillator two pitch. This is actually really important because it means I can take envelope two, which we just created, it looks like that blade, and I can tell wavetable to affect the pitch of oscillator two using the shape that I defined in envelope two. I can actually do the same thing by going to oscillator one and clicking on detune and boom, it pops up right there. I can do the same thing exactly to that. So now I've basically changed the pitch in a very fast way. It's gonna descend back to the original pitch, but by doing this, it's kind of creating the sound of the attack, the kick drum attack that's so noticeable in a lot of 808 sounds. I can even emphasize this even more so if I was to click on, let's say, oscillator two and click on this fader right here, which is the oscillator two position, which controls where it is on the wavetable, and basically do the same thing to that. I'll drag it to negative 100 under envelope two and sort of creating a little bit of variation at the start of the sound that makes it sound more like a kick drum uh, 808 style bass sound. And then finally, all you really have to do is just change a few of these parameters on the right. So I'm gonna change this to two uh, voices, again, because this is something that doesn't have any sustain in the sound itself. So if you wanna re-trigger the amp envelope, you need to have it be in poly mode. If you want to do more of a mono synth style sound, you could do that. Um, and that'd be very useful for adding glide, but you just have to make sure that the sustain is all the way up. If the sustain is on the way down, the sound of the synth is just gonna drop away and you won't even be able to do that. But I like to use it on poly on two voices so I can just keep re-triggering the attack of the sound. And then finally, you can do something that's optional. If you go to unison and click on classic, um, turn it all the way down to like 3% or 4%. Um, it just adds a little extra uh, wideness to the sound um, that sounds very pleasing. It kind of turns the sound more stereo. And that's basically it. You can put together a really classic sounding sort of aggressive 808 bass sound in Wavetable. It only takes about a minute to do and it's super fun and easy. So if you got something out of this video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And also if you're into using Wavetable and you don't want to spend the time uh, putting together these sounds yourself, you can check out a bunch of free presets I have on my Gumroad store. A link is in the description. And yeah, have fun making music.